uh, I often thought this uh, to, to, to know this world uh, which I didn't know before in no way and uh, other things to get to know I smile and and so this was also for me as a person uh, very enriching as uh, so I, I would never had have had the chance to 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 um, get so close to, yeah. to these things yeah mm -hmm. uh, Gerard, it's so lovely to meet you here on Zoom. Hi, nice to meet you too. I've seen this amazing film that you're part of, that you're playing the main character, Ice Meyer. Yeah. Um, and I so wanted to talk to you about this, this film. Thank you very much for inviting me. So um, this is a, a very much a, um, a film that I think is so important to uh, to understand and to for people to see because I think it it sort of delves into a world that we not always uh, know about and this is the world of the army first of all and then um, your character is a is a sergeant in the in mm -hmm. the army in the Austrian army and mm -hmm. he's also um, a gay mm -hmm. person and and but in the closet. Mm -hmm. Yes, this story is based on a true story. Mm -hmm which actually happened uh, they got married in 2014 i think in the barracks barracks where we shoot the the movie in their uniform and Amazing. all stuff yes and mm -hmm. that was the the point of start the directors uh, saw the, the the picture in the newspapers and he thought what an uh, odd thing the, the two gays in in uniforms marrying each other and he started to uh, started a research and and made a contact with Eismar with the real Eismar and they got to know each other and he made interviews and so it it became slowly where it ended <laughs> the story yeah. yeah and it's amazing um I, I if if I take your role for example this is um I mean this is so convincing you play this this character that's really this um driven uh, army sergeant really uh, hardcore uh, um you know uh, did you mm -hmm. have any insight before the time before you no. played this role no. no nothing nothing at all uh I was uh, in a social service when I was young not a military okay. service really Civil Dienst in Austria. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. another another form of of service. And um, uh, I I had a phone call with Eismeyer about one and a half year before we sh uh, started shooting. And uh, the first thing he asked was, "And where have you been in the, in your time during the military service?" Okay. <laughs> and I said, "I apologize. I I was in the social service." Okay. And then uh, a long pause at the end of the, the phone. And then he said, for that, I'll kill you. And <laughs> that was our first first meeting. And I thought, whew, a rough time. <laughs> 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 yeah. But but at the end, it turned out very well. And he was, I think he was very happy with uh, what we did and how we showed the story and Yes, uh, uh, when we premiered in Venice uh, with the film, uh, they were there, both of them in their uniforms again, and uh, in in the middle of the, the the audience, and the film ended, and there was applause, a huge applause, and they stood up and they made this like really <laughs> soldiers do <laughs> are used to do. And the other, and the audience apl uh, applauded, and and they started to cry, and at the oh. same time they laughed, and it was really, really emotional. Yes. <laughs> so they really thought that you, they, they thought this was authentic, so they could see themselves in these these characters. Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, the story is partially authentic and partially invented. It's it's mm -hmm. not. Uh, wholly completely accurate accurate uh, it is uh, 
uh, it also comes out of the the fantasy of the director what he wants okay. to uh, what he wanted what was what was his fantasy mm -hmm. and but but the the original Eismar and and Mario they could connect very well with this with this uh, approach and uh, much much thinks that the keystones are mm -hmm. real but in between there are, there is room for fantasy also okay yeah. but did you have to speak to them to talk about their feelings really because you conveyed you had to convey really this this emotional um struggle that you have because your character was sort of in this box or in this closet mm -hmm. um and and the mario's character he was mm -hmm. an openly gay um mm -hmm. soldier mm -hmm. so how did you get the sense of what what they must be feeling mm, we we uh, got to know each other very well in in the preparation and uh, this was i think the the most important thing about uh, about his evolving about his uh coming out the long the long uh um hiding of his em real emotions uh the the feeling he had to be harder than maybe necessary to hide this that no one uh, uh gets to know it what what's really inside of him he said if he would have his coming out uh, 20 years earlier or something like that when he was young, uh, his career would be over. The time mm -hmm. wasn't ready for this. And uh, from this perspective, perspective it something has changed because Mario is openly gay. He's also mocked, but not in that way that uh, a career is not possible anymore. Uh, he yes they are laughing about him but it's okay in a certain way and but uh, as Mel sa said uh, 20 years earlier did, this wouldn't be uh, possible mm -hmm. for him and so he hided it and he became um, a master of of I don't know hiding hiding uh, uh, techniques and one of this was his absolute uh roughness his his mm. his uh yes the, he he was feared for his for his uh ruthlessness uh, yeah and, uh, yeah and he was uh hated also for this and i think he was in a certain way um it was a relief for him to to see this on the screen and also to something to it's about forgiveness forgiveness for himself also and i think this made a lot with him actually mm -hmm. and so he he was uh very satisfied i think with with what i felt what was right for his persona and so yes the at the, at the last day of the shooting in the barracks he said to me uh, you know, I, I go um, in one in an, uh, in a half year. I go into pension. He, he he he's not in the service anymore. And he said, yeah, if you want, you can uh, stay here, and you also are allowed to wear my name. So really, I, yes, he. I think he was <laughs> satisfied. Amazing with what yeah. I did. Yeah. So it well, was a long a long way from the first. Uh, for that, I will kill you to <laughs> you can wear my name. <laughs> but how amazing that you could achieve that because I yeah. think I mean for for me, I, I thought as when I saw you uh, your character, I thought, okay, there must have been somebody you must have been in the army to to have seen somebody do that because it's so it's so convincing you could have been a soldier. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, yeah. but it's all just. Just acting. Okay. <laughs> Just acting, <laughs> training and learning and watching. <laughs> so we don't have to be scared. No, I, think, I don't think so. But this was also amazing how you did this, because it's this um, this double life that he lived, you know, this very fierce soldier, and then 
Uh, also, this uh, human side where he connects with his son and with his family, he's, it's completely a different person uh, yeah. then there. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and could you also then understand that part? Uh, this was also a decision from from us, from me particularly, because uh, I didn't want to drag the military perso yeah. person into his private life. I wanted to show two different persons. Um, this this seemed uh, more. It felt better for me in the preparation to 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 separate these two lives and I, as i got to know him better uh, during the process of preparation i felt it also right uh, when i saw him when he how he was in private life when he he is a he's a passionate cook for example he cooked for all for all for all of us like really? uh, like a uh, like a, a Italian mummy, <laughs> yes, and, and we got to eat everything, and uh, it was uh, he, he was such a different person compared to what he was in the uh, in the in the barracks when we shot there with his gun and his behavior and his crying and his uh, all of that shit, and and in private life he was uh, also also rough in a certain yeah. way but charming mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and and I, I i saw feelings and uh, everything and uh, how he his behavior with with mario his husband and mm -hmm. all of that i thought uh, it's 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 um right to to separate military and private life yeah, well, I think that was also because it it also brought this made this bridge to where he has this relationship with Mario, where you actually saw that different side of him. Mm. You know, this this how he he loved him or how he showed his love to him. This this mm. caring side of of the character. Mm. Yes, and of mm. course also this, this, that he's unsecure, not secure in in what he does, and in in the military he also he always has to be uh, this this strong and uh, knowing person, and and uh, for the recruits the the trainer who is strong and and in and that this this isn't interesting uh, the uh, for one and a half hour to to see yeah. a person the whole time uh, in in this behavior and mm -hmm. so it was even more even more to to break out this to to, to break this 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 oh, I, I don't know how to call it, it it's like a a cocoon uh, um, oh yeah yeah uh, like a, a stiff and he has to, to break it somehow, and and this was the approach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the um, that's the idea that you get as well. Mm -hmm. But what I also love about this film is the this cinematography because it's in the barracks. It's very much it has this army feel. Mm -hmm. This yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the this lighting and everything. Yeah, we had we had the great luck that uh, the army uh, supported the film. Really? This was not from the start. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, this took a long, a long time uh, to convince them. And at the end, we had help from a, a very high rank, and more or less they got the order to support this film. And when they got it, and when when this was decided, it was the the the, the work w together was uh, wonderful. It it really? was a really really uh, good work with the army, and we uh, they they gave us everything we needed, mm -hmm. and we are we also were allowed to shoot um, the the real uh, the real soldiers when. I don't know this uh, when they've made their their marching and their oh, yeah, everything, yeah. and so we had a lot of of possibilities to to um, to 
show uh, the the reality yeah. concerning concerning the 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 structures and the the military behaviors and uh, the command chains and everything and this was also supervised by uh, guys from the um, minis minis Three? Uh, is this mm. right government from the government yeah, yeah and they were sent from the government to watch closely if this what we uh, uh, tell about uh, military uh, um, things military concerning military uh, concerning the military above yeah. from uh, the the personal things yeah. is uh, correct that there really? are no mistakes yes yes mm -hmm. this was an uh, This was a um, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know even know the the German word for it um, a premise uh, uh, um, uh, premise uh, um, <laughs> permission uh, what yes yes yeah. uh, this was uh, uh, crucial for them to mm. support us and uh, we said that's yes. amazing because yeah. I thought uh, so the soldiers in the film. Um, marching and all that. The, so these these were real soldiers. These it's, were not it's extras. Also, it's it's uh, okay. also real soldiers. It's a mixture of uh, actors okay. and uh, mm -hmm. and soldiers. But there are one is one scene when a a, a big group uh, makes this very very good marching, <laughs> yeah. and these were the real guys. But we oh, were really? not a, we were not allowed to film them close closely, but as a just as a, a group. Not uh, you. Ha you um, should not recognize the the the, the faces. Okay. They should be uh, uh, like a a group. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I saw. I sometimes see them here at Heldenplatz uh, marching, and uh, it's also so amazing to see them. Yeah. And but yeah. These are the guys from the from where we shoot. This is the this, really? this company, the MTK. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they are especially in this. Um, show um it's sort of a show it's it's a show marching oh, okay. <laughs> yes they, they it's like a choreo choreography in the ballet it's 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 something like that and uh, they, they they are they they are training especially they are tra especially trained for this uh, for these things things mm. to represent the army okay yeah mm -hmm. that's amazing yeah but what a what a great um Uh, opportunity then it must have been for you to have that insight as well i mean apart from playing the characters but so have this insight into this world of yeah. of the army absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. uh i often thought this uh to to, to know this world uh, which i didn't know before in no way and uh other things to get to know i smile and and so this was also for me as a person uh very enriching as uh, so I, i would never had have had the chance to 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 um, get so close to, yeah. to these things yeah mm. uh, yeah but now yeah. these this the theme of the film <clears throat> um a few years ago i think it was in 2019 there was a film also a south african film morphe and it it dealt with the same it dealt yeah. with the same theme Yeah. But you you said um I, I saw on your Instagram you say that um you know can film change the world or mm -hmm. at least make make people think or at least change people's opinions of it. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important that the, these types of real stories um are being told and are being made in in cinema and that we that that it's not just all Uh, made up you know that there's this mm. real realness to it because it's also in the, the the way the film has been made this you can actually feel these characters you know mm. and you and, and and the story that it tells also gives this insight into this world of one person believing everything is possible and another person being so constrained in this mm -hmm. in this um in this world mm -hmm. i think this is uh One of the reasons I I do this job actually, because my approach always was um, to deal with uh, with with my life with this world uh, during uh, in 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 seeing films also 
to how they deal with problems and uh, how and to to let to let to let go and and uh to be part of a story and to imagine it and uh the imagine imagination connects with my own life and how can it help can it uh to see it maybe in another way and so to move on and to 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 deal with things so the br- approach uh uh this approach uh to to deal with reality was al- always uh one of the yes most most important things for me in in cinema uh, uh when i see these uh superhero things this is sort of uh, uh it's it's cool also but it's it's escaping from reality it's another thing it's 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 a it's a popcorn yeah doodly do thing and, yeah, and yeah. for two hours we have you have a boo boo time but yeah but it's 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 something else and uh, i for me what me interests more is uh, is to to reflect what surrounds me what what what's what's in this world and in in a crea- creative way to not just not just uh in a documentary style whatever that is but to to let the fantasy fly a little in this in this reality it's to to get different perspectives to to see thing to to the, the, the so that the mind can connect maybe with another idea ah i never thought of that before okay the, so it can uh, this way it also can be to think about this and that and uh, in the best way to move forward to to get better as a person or to 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 grow as a person so this is that yeah and you but you also like you said now that you also um you know had this experience and and it's also for you as a person it meant a lot so by doing these films it also enriches your life yes absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely and the more it's it's away from me as it was in this case the more enriching i felt that it uh, it was because i i uh, I came into an environment which I don't know, but mm. uh, to deal with these things was very, very enriching for me also, with uh, because uh, uh, um, the, the 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 military on the one hand and the 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 the, the gayness and uh, this is not uh, I'm not it's not my world, yeah. But to let it in was was amazing was great really great and uh, i liked it really well this film seems to be so popular so amazing i mean so many awards so many nominations that this film received and i've seen now it's also being nominated for the austrian film award yeah yeah Mm -hmm. And we are pr- very proud of that because yeah. we didn't think of that before. We just wanted to make a good movie, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and uh, when it's it's appreciated by the audience, then it's uh, it's wonderful for us. It's a reward. It's incredible, incredible, and, mm-hmm. and very satisfying. Actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now, um, um, Garrett, you've been doing so many movies. I mean, I think it's about 50 or more that you've been mm. uh, involved in. Um, what what are the wishes for you for the future? What What is the dream? Uh, are there specific roles that you still want to play? Uh, the most interesting role is every time is the role, uh, uh, I think, when I get the script, I'm not able to do that. Really? Then, then my, then my, then I get in flame. Then, then the flame is is burning up. Okay. <laughs> because really? I, it's it's no, it not that's not. Um, uh, I have to put it in another words. Uh, okay. I uh, uh, that I am not able to do it, but to to understand in a certain way what's happening, but. 
I never saw me in this in this uh, in this film or or in this role or I don't know how I am how I should be able as e as 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 me as Gerhard to to uh, to illustrate that to to build this person and so to bring me f- from here to there to to play it this is the 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 most interesting uh thing for me amazing and yes but uh, uh but i think uh, uh, uh this is is also um um the the reason why i do this because because i think uh, uh it it, it, were, it it's during my whole life, the, the things uh, which I thought are not possible were the most interest, interesting for me. Really? Mm-hmm. Because it, I, I never wanted to, to, to live a comfortable life. It was always, I challenged my, myself always. And, and this is the, the reason, I think, to, to move forward, to move forward. And yes, yes. Then it's well, interesting this- for me. Yeah. This is amazing. I've never thought of it that way, but it it is true actually in life that you these the the most the challenges that you that you least think that you are able to do when you achieve that that's the most rewarding really. I, I it's very dangerous in our job, especially I think in the in the acting job, when you think you know how you play something in in uh, before you start doing something. It's it's uh, it doesn't matter if theater or or film, when you get when you reach something and you know you think you already know how this should be done, then the most of the time I, you are lost. You are you are really? you have already lost. It's it, it's never it, it will never achieve the 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 the, the deepness the the, the yes. It it you can't dig so deep when you think you know already what what's yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. You have to uh, surprise yourself and and not knowing where to go and uh, go this dark tunnel and search for light and it goes this and this and this and you you don't know how to do it and and suddenly there is in, in far away there's a little a little little light <laughs> you go to, through and you go in this direction and uh, yes and that's that's the process uh the i think is for me is is the most exciting and and, and that's it, why i i love this well you said before that you you had the um the threat of being shot because you were not in the army but you then in the end uh convinced him that that you could be a soldier yeah could yeah. be a, a sergeant <laughs> yeah so yeah. that was yeah yeah that's what i mean yes in, yeah. in a certain way yes yeah, yeah. but that's uh, that's so wonderful but thank you so much garrett for your time this is it was so insightful talking about this thank film thank you too and thank um you. And and I must say I I appreciated that the film had subtitles because you talk a real um, with a Ralph real Austin. Austrian <laughs> accent. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was I was really really deeply touched uh, with this film. I think it's a film with so many layers, and I think it's not just for the, uh, you know, for the. Uh, a specific audience i think there's so many things in this film that's so motivating yeah. um that talks so much about uh people you know and about uh, perseverance about uh, not being confined and, and about that anything is possible so i think mm. a well done to the to the director to the, yeah. the filmmakers to the to everybody to all the actors i mean uh, luca dimick he plays the role of of um of Mario, Mario. Mm-hmm. and and also his his acting is, is so convincing so mm. so authentic mm. uh, congratulations to you all for this film and Thank I you really hope that you this film just gets out and and spread out into the world and and people see it mm, thanks thanks yeah. good Thank yeah. you Gerard mm. <laughs> have a lovely afternoon. 
Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.